All right, so let's get a read on, on the markets and how they're going to uh, play out with these trade talks. I'll bring it in to discuss David Dietz at Point View Wealth Management and the Bonson Group uh, CIO, David Bonson. David Bonson, all right, so the scenario I, I laid out for Michael Pillsbury, uh, a partial currency kind of deal uh, that uh, takes the yuan out of the equation, you know, so she can say, hey, they won't push, it, push us around with respect to how we manage our own currency. Uh, maybe some Huawei sales. Uh, maybe even saying, okay, we'll let these, uh, these, we'll take the sanctions off these uh, Chinese oil tankers. Uh, some soybeans obviously will be in the mix. And maybe a JV, you know, no longer forcing uh, American partners to be the junior partner. That kind of a package, what would the Wall Street response be? Well, I think that kind of package Wall Street would respond favorably to. But we are at a point now, the market has moved up so much in the last five weeks that a lot of it is more asymmetrical. It's more how much the market could drop if they don't get certain things. That level, I think, is about 80 percent priced in. Not completely. Now, if you start taking away tariffs that were put on before, which is different than just not escalating, de-escalation is, I think, priced in. If, if all of a sudden they come and say, no, we're escalating tariffs, we're going full board, I think you see a significant market drop. But if you get some sort of repeal, like we've made enough progress that they are taking away tariffs that were put on last year, I think Wall Street will respond very favorably. Wall Street wants certainty more than it wants anything. And we're not going to get full certainty tomorrow. I understand that. But I think that it has to be more than just the same level of progress we've already had. So he was talking about the meeting back in May. That 150-page document, here's the thing no one seems to remember. 90% of it was agreed. 10% had never been agreed. Right. And it was intellectual property enforcement. That's still the issue. We want to take away tariffs once they But you're not suggesting, compliance. though, that that has to be resolved before the market no. goes higher. No, I'm not. I that's think, the very last piece. I think that the market will move meaningfully higher when it sees that there is really a path to certainty. It can't be the same level of optimism. So a minor little bump up, like, hey, we're holding back. We're going to reconvene in three months. I don't think the market moves a lot on that level of news. It needs more than that. Let me ask you, because you brought up interest rates. CPI number came in less than anticipated. I mean, big drop in used cars and trucks, uh, apparel. Yeah, I mean, just again, uh, considering the CPI number, the PPI number, and what we've been hearing from, from, from Jay Powell, you know, the Fed, they still meet this month, and that's going to be consequential. Mm -hmm possibility of them going even 50 basis points? Well, I'm not, I don't think there's a crisis. I'm not going to go 50 basis points, but the, the path to me is clear. But they certainly are going to cut rates this month. I think you'd see 50 basis. Yes, absolutely. I think you'd see 50 by the end of the year, but with interest rates, or excuse me, inflation rates still not hitting the targets, there's no real impediment. And of course, they need to get our interest rates more in sync with the rest of the world. And of course, uninvert that yield right. coverage is only up there because of the Fed. Bonson? Yeah, I think that the whole issue with interest rates is difficult because all of us as investors want to believe that we have things working in our favor. And we like the idea of easy money pushing down the risk free rate. And it gives us this opportunity for better pricing. But, Charles, we know what happens when rates have to come higher. And if they go too aggressive in reducing, the fact of the matter is you maybe get a little boost. You might not because the market's already expecting it. If you end up going too far, at some point, they have to get off of it. They have no tools. I'm more thinking about what it does to investors right. in a year or two than I am in a month. All right. David and David, yeah. thank you both very much.